Cuyahoga Valley National Park is an American national park that preserves and reclaims the rural landscape along the Cuyahoga River between Akron and Cleveland in northeast Ohio. Cuyahoga Valley is unusual among American national parks being adjacent to two large urban areas and including a dense road network, small towns, and private attractions. The 32,572-acre park is administered by the National Park Service, but within its boundaries are areas independently managed as city parks or private businesses. Cuyahoga Valley was originally designated as a National Recreation Area in 1974, then redesignated as a National Park 26 years later in 2000, and remains the only national park that originated as a National Recreation Area. Cuyahoga Valley is the only national park in the state of Ohio, one of seven Midwestern national parks, and one of two in the Great Lakes Basin, with Isle Royale National Park in Lake Superior. History The valley began providing recreation for urban dwellers in the 1870s when people came from nearby cities for carriage rides or leisure boat trips along the canal. In 1880, the Valley Railway became another way to escape urban industrial life. Actual park development began in the 1910s and 1920s with the establishment of Cleveland and Akron Metropolitan Park Districts. In 1929, the estate of Cleveland businessman Hayward Kendall donated 430 acres, 0.7 square miles, 1.7 square kilometers around the Ritchie Ledges and a trust fund to the state of Ohio. Kendall's will stipulated that the property should be perpetually used for park purposes. The area was called Virginia Kendall Park in honor of his mother. In the 1930s, the Civilian Conservation Corps built much of the park's infrastructure including the Happy Days Lodge and the shelters at Octagon, the Ledges, and Kendall Lake. The Happy Days Lodge, near Peninsula, was constructed from 1938–39 as a camp for urban children. The lodge is presently used only as a special events site, although the regional parks safeguarded certain places. By the 1960s local citizens feared that urban sprawl would overwhelm the Cuyahoga Valley's natural beauty. An additional concern was the environmental degradation of the Cuyahoga River via factory waste and sewage, along with fires that burned on the river in 1952 and 1969. Citizens joined forces with state and national government staff to find a long-term solution. Finally, on December 27, 1974, President Gerald Ford signed the bill establishing the Cuyahoga Valley National Recreation Area. The National Park Service acquired the 47-acre (0.1 square miles, 0.2 square kilometers) Krejci Dump in 1985 to include as part of the recreation area. They requested a thorough analysis of the site's contents from the Environmental Protection Agency. After the survey identified extremely toxic materials, the area was closed in 1986 and designated a Superfund site under the Comprehensive Environmental Response, Compensation and Liability Act of 1980. Litigation was filed against potentially responsible parties, Ford, GM, Chrysler, 3M, Waste Management, Chevron, Kiwani Industries, and Federal Metals. Only 3M would not agree to a settlement, and the company lost at trial. Removal of toxic materials began in 1987 with 371,000 short tons, 742 million pounds, 337 million kilograms of contaminated soils and debris removed by 2012 and restoration completed by 2015. The area was redesignated a national park by Congress on October 11, 2000, with the passage of the Department of the Interior and Related Agencies Appropriations Act 2001, House Bill 4507 78, 106th Congress. The park is administered by the National Park Service. The David Berger National Memorial in Beechwood, a Cleveland suburb, is also managed through Cuyahoga Valley National Park. The Richfield Coliseum, a multi-purpose arena in the Cuyahoga River area, was demolished in 1999 and the vacant site became part of Cuyahoga Valley National Park upon its designation in 2000. The area has since become a grassy meadow that is a popular birdwatching site. Wildlife 
Animals found in the park include raccoons, muskrats, coyotes, skunks, red foxes, beavers, peregrine falcons, river otters, bald eagles, opossums, three species of moles, white-tailed deer, Canada geese, gray foxes, minks, great blue herons, and seven species of bats. Attractions Cuyahoga Valley features natural, man-made, and private attractions, which is unusual for an American national park. The park includes compatible use sites not owned by the federal government, such as regional parks of the Cleveland Metroparks and Summit Metro Park systems. The natural areas include forests, rolling hills, narrow ravines, wetlands, rivers, and waterfalls. About 100 waterfalls are located in the Cuyahoga Valley, with the most popular being the 65-foot tall Brandywine Falls—the tallest waterfall in the park and the tallest in northeast Ohio. The ledges are a rock outcropping that provides a westward view across the valley's wooded areas. Talus Caves are located among the boulders in the forest around the ledges. The park has many trails, most notably the 20-mile towpath trail, which follows a former stretch of the 308-mile Ohio and Erie Canal and is popular for hiking, bicycling, and running. Skiing and sled riding are available during the winter at Kendall Hills. Visitors can play golf, or take scenic excursions and railroad tours on the Cuyahoga Valley Scenic Railroad during special events. The park also features preserved and restored displays of 19th and early 20th century sustainable farming and rural living, most notably the Hale Farm and Village, while catering to contemporary cultural interests with art exhibits, outdoor concerts, and theater performances in venues such as Blossom Music Center and Kent State University's Porthouse Theater. In the mid-1980s, the park hosted the National Folk Festival. Ohio and Erie Canal Towpath Trail The multipurpose Ohio and Erie Canal Towpath Trail was developed by the National Park Service and is the major trail through Cuyahoga Valley National Park. The trail traverses almost 21 miles from Rockside Road in Independence in the north to Summit County's Bike and Hike Trail in the south, following the Cuyahoga River for much of its length. Restrooms are available at several trailheads, and food and drink establishments are along Rockside Road, as well as the Boston Store in Peninsula, and at the Seasonal Farmers Market on Botsam Road. Three visitor centers are located along the path, the Canal Exploration Center, Boston Store, and the Hunt House. The trail connects to a Cleveland Metroparks trail at Rockside Road, which continues another 6 miles north. The Summit County Trail continues through Akron and further south through Stark and Tuscarawas counties to Zor, Ohio, almost 70 miles continuously, with a single 1-mile interruption. Sections of the Towpath Trail outside of Cuyahoga Valley National Park are owned and maintained by various state and local agencies. The trail also meets the Buckeye Trail in the National Park near Boston Store. Another section of the Summit County Bike and Hike Trail system is nearby, connecting to Brandywine Falls, Cleveland Metroparks Bedford Reservation and the cities of Solon in Cuyahoga County, Hudson and Stowe in Summit County, and Kent and Ravenna in Portage County. Seasonally, the Cuyahoga Valley Scenic Railroad allows visitors to travel along the towpath from Rockside Road to Akron, embarking or disembarking at any of the stops along the way. The train is especially popular with bicyclists, and for viewing and photographing fall colors. CVSR is independently owned and operated. History The Towpath Trail follows the historic route of the Ohio and Erie Canal. Before the canal was built, Ohio was a sparsely settled wilderness where travel was difficult and getting crops to market was nearly impossible. The canal, built between 1825 and 1832, provided a new transportation route from Cleveland on Lake Erie, to Portsmouth on the Ohio River. The canal connected Ohio to the rest of the eastern United States. Numerous wayside exhibits provide information about canal features and sites of historic interest. Visitors can walk or ride along the same path that the mules used to tow the canal boats loaded with goods and passengers. The scene is different than it was then. The canal was full of water carrying a steady flow of boats. Evidence of beavers can be seen in many places along the trail. 
Topic: Stanford House, formerly Stanford Hostel. Located in the scenic Cuyahoga Valley near Peninsula, Stanford House is a historic 19th-century farm home built in the 1830s by George Stanford, one of the first settlers in the Western Reserve. In 1978, the NPS purchased the property to serve as a youth hostel in conjunction with the American Youth Hostels organization. In March 2011, Stanford Hostel became Stanford House, Cuyahoga Valley National Park's first in-park lodging facility. The home was renovated by the Conservancy for Cuyahoga Valley National Park and the National Park Service. Topic: <inaudible> Towpath Trailheads. Within the National Park, trailhead parking for the Towpath Trail is available along Canal Road from north to south at Lock 39. West of intersection with Rockside Road, 41.39309 degrees north 81.628565 degrees west, 41.39309, minus 81.628565 Lock 39 Canal Exploration Center at Hillside Road, 41 degrees 22 minutes 21 seconds north 81 degrees 36 minutes 47 seconds west Frizee House South of Alexander Road, north of Sagamore Road, 41.352443 degrees north 81.592377 degrees west, 41.352443, minus 81.592377 for Z House and along Riverview Road, from north to south, at Station Road Bridge East along with Chippewa Creek Drive, 41.318618 degrees north 81.587957 degrees west, 41.318618, minus 81.587957 Station Road Bridge Red Lock East of the river, along Vaughn Highland Road, 41.289148 degrees north, 81.563379 degrees west, 41.289148 minus 81.563379. Red Lock, Boston Store. East on Boston Mills Road, 41.263205 degrees north 81.559408 degrees west, 41.263205, minus 81.559408 Boston Store Peninsula Depot East across river on Route 303, then North Locust Street, and West Mill Street to parking lot, 41.243331 degrees north 81.549186 degrees west, 41.243331, minus 81.549186 Peninsula Depot. Lock 28 also called Deep Lock, south of Major Road, 41.229917 degrees north 81.554756 degrees west, 41.229917, minus 81.554756 Lock 28. Hunt House at Bullens Road, 41.200288 degrees north 81.57201 degrees west, 41.200288, minus 81.57201 Hunt House Ira Road just north of intersection, 41.184467 degrees north 81.583038 degrees west, 41.184467, minus 81.583038 Ira Road Botsam Station South of Bath Road, 41.158453 degrees north 81.573788 degrees west, 41.158453, minus 81.573788 Botsam Station Geology The V the course of the Cuyahoga River is rather unique, first flowing southwest, and then abruptly turning north to drain into Lake Erie not far from its origin. The left arm of this V 
Flowing north through the park corresponds to an older preglacial valley, while the right arm corresponds to relatively new drainage. The new segment cut into the old at Cuyahoga Falls, the base of the V. Other streams have made routes into the Cuyahoga preglacial valley by cutting gorges with waterfalls such as those found along the Tinkers, Brandywine and Chippewa Creeks. These waterfalls form as flowing water erodes the Bedford Shale, which underlies the more resistant Berea sandstone. Glacial drift fills the valley to a depth of 400 feet This fill is very complex due to ponding in front of the ice before and after each glaciation. Beach deposits, gravel bars and other shoreline deposits from Lake Maumee are found in the valley, as are gravels from the time of Lake Arcona, and ridges marking the shores of Lake Whittlesey, Lake Warren, and Lake Wayne. A noticeable remnant of the Wisconsin glaciation is the Defiance Moraine, which trends from Defiance in western Ohio, across the state into Pennsylvania. As Cushing et al. point out, "...the Defiance Moraine represents the last notable stand of the glacial front in this region." The moraine varies in width from 2 to 4 miles, 3.2 to 6.4 kilometers, and according to Leverett, it is like a broad wave whose crest stands 20 to 50 feet above the border of the plain outside it. This moraine forms a lobe that protrudes south into the valley for 8 miles, 13 kilometers, all the way to peninsula, the lobe being 6 miles, 9.7 kilometers wide at the north end, tapering to 3 miles, 4.8 kilometers wide at the south end. Cames and eskers mark the terrain south of this moraine up to the southern extent of the glaciation. The Berea sandstone and the Bedford Shale were deposited in a river delta environment in the lower Mississippian. River channels were incised into the Bedford Shale, and subsequently these channels were filled by the Berea sandstone. Besides setting the stage for majestic gorges and waterfalls within the valley, they have provided an economic use as well. The Berea sandstone was quarried in Berea for grindstones and building stones, while the lowermost part of the Bedford Shale was quarried in South Euclid and Cleveland Heights for its bluestone. The Sharon conglomerate is a lower Pennsylvanian formation composed of sandstone and conglomerate, which forms, according to Cushing et al., disconnected patches or outliers that cap the highest hills. These outliers stand boldly above the surrounding country due to its resistance to erosion. The Boston ledges are the most noteworthy example. As the Mississippian shale underneath is washed away, huge blocks of the Sharon result from the settling. As Cushing et al. explain, "...frost action aids in pushing these blocks apart, cracks are widened into caves, and a tangle of blocks results, separated by passages of uneven widths." Shale gas has been produced in the area since 1883, when H.A. Mastic's well was drilled in the Rockport Township to a depth of 527 feet 161 meters, yielding 21,643 cubic feet .9 cubic meters of gas daily. A gas boom occurred in 1914–1915, and by 1931, several hundred gas wells were producing from the Devonian Huron Shale. Production came from shales 1,250 feet 380 meters thick at depths from 400 to 1,840 feet 120 to 560 meters. Pressures were 3 to 135 psi 21 to 931 kilopascals flowing less than 20,000 cubic feet 570 cubic meters of gas daily, but was sufficient to furnish light for a house or two, and sometimes heat. As Cushing et al. pointed out in the 1930s, there are vast amounts of petroleum in the Devonian shales. Since then, the Marcellus Shale and the deeper Utica Shale have shown their economic potential. <laughs> <laughs> Visitor centers The Canal Exploration Center is located along Canal Road at Hillside Road in Valley View, south of Rockside Road. The visitor center contains interactive maps and games related to the history of the canal, especially the years from 1825 to 1876. The canal era building once served canal boat passengers waiting to pass through the Ohio and Erie Canal's Lock 38. Boston Store was constructed in 1836 and is located just east of Riverview Road. The building was used as a warehouse, store, post office, and a general gathering place. The visitor center has a museum featuring exhibits on canal boat building. 
A short video is available, as well as maps, brochures, and NPS passport stamps. The Hunt House at Riverview and Bolins Roads is typical of late 19th century family farms in the Cuyahoga Valley. Visitors can obtain information about park activities and see exhibits about the area's agricultural history. The farm is an ideal starting point for a hike or a bicycle ride as it is adjacent to the Canal Towpath Trail. The Frizee House on Canal Road in Valley View, south of Rockside Road, was constructed from 1825 to 26. During the same years, the northern section of the canal was dug. The house is a fine example of a Western Reserve home and features exhibits relating to architectural styles, construction techniques, and the Frizee family. Points of historic interest National Register of Historic Places All properties listed here are open to the public, though some in a limited way—see status column. Many of the NRHP sites found in the full list are in private ownership and are not listed here. See also List of birds of Cuyahoga Valley National Park List of national parks of the United States <laughs>